We have an update on the bugged cross fight situation. Act 7.4 release date and some teasing information. The cost of Battlegrounds is all over the place. We look into what was announced and some problems with it from the weekend. And players are banned from spending in Belarus and Russia. G'day everybody, welcome back to the Marvel Contest of Champions new show for Monday. Get your toast because we've got a jam-packed new show for you today. So yeah, like button, subscribe, post notifications on all, all that lovely stuff. Also, myself and Dan are back with a brand new podcast. Make sure to go and check it out in the link in the description. We're back talking about some fantastic stuff, including how Dan met Mike Tyson. Yes, go and check out for that info, that story, um, over on the podcast. Links are in the description down below. And a fine thank you to anybody that supports the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon. You're on screen right now. Thank you so much for all that love and support. Also, those who support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. I need to live stream today, so I'm going to force myself to say, hey, go live stream today. So I'm going to live stream on Twitch later on today. And as well, hopefully once every day this week. Got to do it. Got to be a good boy and all that stuff. But thanks to everybody that gives a free, the free Prime sub, Tier 1 subs, bits and donations. I'll see you later on. So we're indeed going to kick off the show. We've got lots of stuff to cover. So let's just get into it. Kicking off with Marvel Insider. As a lot of you know, Marvel Insider each month can have a range of things. From having some good stuff when it comes to revives, health potions, uh, energy refills when it comes to like helpful stuff for players at any point in the game. But also there's, t there's chances to win 4 star stuff. Let's see what Kabam uh, have put on Marvel Insider this month. So first of all, we have got this Grandmaster X-Men uh, Crystal and we've got Ultimate X-Men Crystal, 10 4 star signature stones. Five star signature stone crystal. It's good that they've put this stuff, putting that stuff into the um, into the bundles for uh, Marvel Insider energy refills. I mean, there's not really anything there for me, but definitely for new players, you will have something of an advantage. That's the one two five k offer to get from rewards. And also, there's uh, what two star Omega Sentinel, and this is more for those that kind of collect it, because like people do collect this stuff. Those four energy refills are going to be nice. Small energy refills though, times five. Yes, there's not something hugely on offer for you know going through content, but it's definitely for stuff for acquisition, which is kind of nice. So, uh, so yeah, that's on that at the moment, as well as a full range of activity. Next up, Battlegrounds is something that needs to be talked about. Good news though, it's going to be launched today. Yes, there is going to be a beta. The first two betas for Battlegrounds with the second arriving for full month in April will be taking place between March 14th, 10 a.m. PST and March 21st, 10 a.m. PST. So that's today uh, for those that are in, interested in doing it, which is great, by the way. It's great to see those because I know that some players are eager to test them out. And there's a bit of bone of contention. Now, this info was dropped on Friday. But since then, there's been some things that have kind of sprung up. The friendly mode side of things is still something that's going to come at full launch with Kaban Mike responding back to uh, Bitter Still saying, I know there won't be a challenge your friends mode in beta. Um, and Kaban Mike says, I think that we're going to make, they're going to have to wait for the full launch for the friendly mode. So that kind of gives you an idea of when that's going to be. But there was a big bone of contention, definitely from what I've seen when it comes to energy, because it did say that it is going to be 15 energy. Now, Azkaban MEK says here, regarding energy, the cost of energy to enter matchmaking is still under consideration and the beta is going to help us collect data. Additionally, our plan is to put energy refills in battleground solo objectives during this week to subsidize the use of energy during this beta and help you get more rounds in. So that's kind of like for the beta, but when it comes to anything else, it's a bit questionable and as a lot of us know there's going to be some objectives or some other things going on when it goes to live that uh, you know we'll be able to see and um, also you know um, we'll get to see loads of things at this maybe on this beta when it comes to like rewards because rewards are going to be very important for players as well so I'll get to kind of check out that later on and for those interested this is what it's going to look like command put out this kind of like what's happening happening in the contest type thing and it kind of does like you know showcase what is um what's kind of going down with how the challenges are with the battle objectives the not the full ins and outs of the store we just knew that there's going to be a store and we know that it's going to be like battle objectives but the main thing that kind of sprung to mind when i saw 15 energy is well in this here whatever this was meant to be like a developer build or whatever it's let's say ranked match six energy so things have really changed 
I think, first of all, it was meant to be something like 30 energy, and then it was like down to what I saw here, and I was like, okay, they're cool, Kabama bring it down to six energy, much more bearable. And then all of a sudden on Friday, it's, no, back up to 15 energy spend. So yeah, with Kabam saying, speaking of matches, each one is going to cost 15 energy. There's no energy charge if you search for a match and do not find one. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. It seems to be all over the place where what they're deciding is a happy medium or what they've done in their developer build. So I guess more is to follow. Do bear in mind it's going to be a beta, so things are subject to change based on players' feedback. And make sure to give Kabam as much feedback as possible during these beta periods so that they understand things that don't work. But also maybe say the stuff that do, does work and just, you know, well done to the developer for doing X, Y, or Z. Or Z, as I would say. Now, I have been asked many times about this, and I have mentioned it in plenty of pieces of content, so I'm mentioning it one more time because, you know, it's important to uh, repeat yourself, apparently. So, this kind of like popped up. I saw this. It stopped teasing us already about Act 7.4, and Command B, Mike's like, no. And then, you've only got to wait a few more days. And a few more days is to wait until the 16th of March for new information about Act 7.4, as said here. But the release dates are as follows, right? Release date is going to be the 23rd of March for Act 7.4. I'm actually working towards this at the moment. Fingers crossed I'm able to 100% 7.3 before 7.4 is released. Uh, but uh, time is pressing and time is of the essence uh, with this. And uh, yes, yeah, so just the main thing about this is to say that if you want more information on the rewards, uh, I think paradox breakdowns, uh, buffs, whatever, uh, you're going to have to wait until um, the 16th of March. So that will be on Wednesday at 10 a.m. PST. Watch this thread right here for the details. So that's going to be cool. Get to find out. I think the rewards everyone's interested in. Yes, there has been a data mine load of info. The biggest problem with the data mine info is it doesn't 100% give all of the stuff that is going to be at the end point. By command going, okay, well, what, what, like, when was that, like, late data mined info? Like, mid February or something? Here's, here's what the rewards are gonna be. And then what command do is they go, no, we'll change it. Like, they may even kind of, like, look at what people respond back to, um, what they've seen from people in, uh, like, comments, Reddit, whatever. And then kind of go, like, may even, like, twist it in a different way. I don't know. Like, that's down to command, but still, um, you know, the 16th of March is then we'll get some concrete info about what is going to be the rewards for uh, Kingdom Come 7.4 and ending that as uh, I push hopefully within a month to have that all 100%ed and um, yeah, um, that's I think my best shot at getting a rank for 6 star without using any of my units. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Now we must move on to... Cross fights in Cavalier difficulty, right? There's been so many reports. On Friday, we covered this in the news show, so if you didn't see that, you, you wouldn't know um, the full kind of like ins and outs of breaking down that problematic element to the cross fight. The video thumbnail was uh, was for this, this one right here, which was Friday's news, which we did cover all this stuff between uh, cross fights not being seen when you go from fight to fight over various different types of Cavalier difficulty. 3.1 was the main offender, but there were others where it quite clearly wasn't seen, even though people were using the relevant hashtags, like hashtag Illuminati, hashtag Thanos Army, any hashtag that uh, is uh, interactable in this particular Cavalier difficulty this month. And yeah, multiple of people came out to say like, look, you know, problems, problems, got problems using these, 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 and these. And we left this on the 10th of March with Kabam saying like, look, we're going to be looking into it. It's going to be investigated. Team are going to look into it, yada, yada, yada. And Kabam Zibit says uh, on Friday, I think this was, thank you for those who have taken the time to share the data. It has helped the team start narrowing in the root cause of the issue. Once we have more info to share, we'll update everyone here. I think this becomes more of a, a problem because when it's going to be fixed. And But Kabamzibit does say the team is looking into 3.1 as well to make sure that the solution they're working on will address the issue there. So I think because it's multiple, 1.2 and 3.1. Uh, and, and yeah, I just kind of think that it's hopefully going to be sorted out. A lot of the times when it comes to anything being repaired for Cavalier difficulty or the Cavalier nodes, that it takes like, like, well, I don't think it even gets 
fixed in a month. But, and, and like we've had the Mutant SP3 bug in Cavalier difficulty for a long time. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be sorted. I want to say because it's been caught early, it will do. But we'll have to see uh, about what happens there. But it does look like Kabam are willing to fix it, are looking in to fix it. And hopefully, if you are looking to use your, uh, what are they called? Called tag, something like that. I, I, tag to cool champions that you can use them uh, correctly this time. Next up, and looks like Kabam are taking action, uh, same thing, same way with other people are. So I don't know if this comes really from Disney, it comes from Marvel Games and how they're doing this. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't had time to look into how other Marvel games are tackling what's going on with the conflict uh, or the war, whatever you want to kind of like refer to it as. But this message went out to certain players, I would assume in Russia and Belarus, which says, please advise that effective immediately we have disabled the ability for players in Russia and Belarus to make purchases in game. Uh, we do not plan to disable your ability to play the game at this time. So you can't spend, spend any money. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's what everybody's doing. It's what a lot of companies are doing at the moment. And yeah, it comes on the back of some really bad stuff in the world. Command Mika basically shuts down the situation by saying like, look, you know, it's getting too political. So a lot of, lot of posts also had to be deleted on this. And, and, and look, like, it's just, it's just one of these things where I, I'm personally not going to be doing too much of a delve into the politics side of things. It is horrible and it's disgusting uh, situation and we end the show as we normally do with arena results and predictions now uh sadly we have got to talk about the results mainly for kitty pride being prob not problematic but kind of like ah uh, sad and thanks to the discord for posting a lot of uh, results but in particular uh, this 90 mil yes 90 mil uh to get uh, position 100 bit sad uh, that we are pushing that and that i think pushes it close to that hercules borderline but look kitty pride is a popular character maybe i should have predicted more but it's sad that we have to push to 90 mil in our basic arena man that is big sad and for those interested, it's uh, 7 million left than it was with Hercules. And we've got results to go over, which is on the screen right now. So starting with Kitty Pride, position 100 was 90 mil for the 6 star. 24.8 mil was position 390. 22 mil was enough for position 449. And it was She-Hulk. It's 92 mil for position 34. 72 mil for position 98. 56 mil for position 160, 29.5 uh, mil for position 487. This gives my predictions kind of like charting close to that. And 75 mil, uh, my prediction for round two for She Hulk, 32 mil for five star She Hulk, six star Kitty Pride have upped from my prediction, previous prediction, uh, by 15 mil to 95 mil, and uh, the five star Kitty Pride 25 mil. So uh, it really kind of gives you an idea of like where we are with that. Disappointing about the Kitty Pride Arena, but you know people do be grinding sadly and all that stuff uh, But yeah, uh, that has been my uh, result has been the results and my predictions for round two and uh, Yeah, that's been the show make sure as well to check out some other content which is located on screen right now And there may be some other videos posted today, Like there may be a video about like uh, Battlegrounds later on I haven't 100% decided on my schedule But definitely lots to grind out especially as I prepare for act 7.4 and all the grinding I've got to do with the last bits of that Act 7 content. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.